Hi, and thanks for tuning into this video. I'm going to be showing you a nighttime wash and go tutorial that allows me to wake up with really pretty curls in the morning. So, I've co washed and conditioned my hair, and I'll be using Curls Curl Creme Brulee as my main moisturizer for this style. My hair is still slightly damp from where I just got out of the shower. So I am just going to go ahead and apply this product directly to my hair from the roots to the ends. And if you watched any of my previous wash and go videos, you know that I like to just smooth the product throughout my hair. And I'm just slowing this down so you can kind of see how this is working in my hair. I really love how it's defining my curls right off the bat. And it feels really, really soft in my hair. And I love the smell of it. It smells like desserts, like icing and cupcakes. It smells really, really good. So I'm just focusing this product all over my hair and I'm letting it define my curls and just making sure I saturate my hair completely with it. And of course, at this step, you can just go ahead and use whatever you would normally use to do your wash and go. Okay, now that I have the product completely worked through my hair, I'm going to be adding a sealant. I'm going to use Queens of Curls Hair Butter. And as you guys know, if you've watched any of my previous videos, I usually like to use a sealant, especially if the product that I'm using is water-based. This product is very, very moisturizing. This curls, Curl Creme Brulee is a very moisturizing product, but it is water-based. And with my hair, my hair tends to dry easily, so that's why I like to use a sealant. So I'm just working that butter through my hair and making sure that it's coated on my hair evenly. And now I'm going to be using some aloe vera gel and this is 100% aloe vera gel. It's by Fruit of the Earth. You can purchase it at Target or Walmart. I actually purchased this one from the Dollar General store. And you can see how this product is just making my hair super shiny and my curls are defining even more. And that's why I wanted to use this gel because I love the way it defines my curls. It doesn't leave them flaky and it just helps the style to have a little extra hold. So after I've worked the gel through my hair completely, I'm just going to flip my hair over and just kind of scrunch it a little bit. What this is going to do is just give me a little bit extra body and it's going to go ahead and help my curls start to form throughout the night and just help them to just pop. And you'll understand that more when I show you the next step in this nighttime wash and go routine. So before I show you the final step, I'm just going to go ahead and define my side part. If you don't have a part that you like to wear your hair, don't worry about this step, but I like to make sure my hair is in a side part. So I've defined my part and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to start gathering my hair up into a ponytail. This is why I was scrunching my hair and flipping it over because I want my curls to start forming as much as possible because my hair is going to be in this ponytail overnight. So also take heed to the fact that I'm not combing my hair, I'm just smoothing it because you want the lumps to be in there. So I'm going to just take my goodie band and secure my hair into a ponytail. Not too tight though because you don't want to have a headache when you wake up. After I've done the ponytail, I'm going to go ahead and apply my satin scarf. Okay, and of course you don't want your ponytail part to be exposed, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a second satin scarf. If you have a hair bonnet, that would be a good time to use it, but I don't have one, so I'm just going to use my second scarf. Okay, it's the next morning, and I'm about to take this ponytail down. It looks crazy right now, but when I take it down, I'm going to go ahead and shake my hair out, and voila, my curls are popping so it's gonna take like a little bit of like just a tiny bit of manipulation you might have to place a few curls here or there but 
As you can see, it looks like I just did a fresh wash and go. I'm gonna continue to shake my hair out just so my curls fall in place naturally. And you can see that my hair has lots of bounce and body and shine. It's still slightly damp, so um, it will continue to dry. Just don't mess with it too much and it won't be frizzy at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this nighttime routine. I hope you get a chance to try it because it will save you a lot of time in the morning. And I hope you subscribe and have a wonderful day.